are you guys excited about? What's the next big thing coming? Like, can you give me a sound bite on that? We believe we know how to eradicate cancer completely, not just reducing its risk. Our goal is to create the drug which would eradicate cells which are quarter, half, or three quarters weight towards cancer, but not cancerous yet. And that would lead to complete eradication of the foundation for cancer. Andre Gudkov grew up in the Soviet Union, where his creative thinking and scientific discoveries during the Cold War gained him international praise and accolades. In 1990, Gudkov came to the United States as a visiting researcher at the University of Illinois in Chicago. Gudkov's career then took him to the Cleveland Clinic, where he founded his own biotech company, Cleveland Biolabs, to pursue further studies of a promising new treatment. And at that time, we happened to invent a completely new approach to protect tissues from radiation and chemotherapy, which used the inventions of uh, bacteria, like antibiotics, for example, for treating diseases. His research on the effects of radiation on the body has not only shown potential in the way cancer is treated, but also shows promise in other applications. The Department of Defense has also shown an interest in Gutkov's radiation research and how his findings could assist those who have been affected by nuclear radiation worldwide. Several years after Cleveland Biolab's founding, Gutkov traveled to Roswell Park. Dr. Gutkov came a few years ago to just give a seminar. He blew everybody out of the water. And it caused many of us to think, hmm, I wonder, could we get this guy? Could this be somebody we could recruit here? It's incredibly difficult to recruit someone with the stature of Andrew Goodkoff. This is someone who is known internationally for his science, top-notch science. So to have someone of that caliber recruited to a Western New York, I think we're extremely fortunate. The work that he's done really has influence around the world. It's influenced our research in Australia. Uh, certainly it's had broad reach um, across the United States and Europe. That it, He's a very well known name. His techniques that he's pioneered, the uh, small molecules that he's developed are increasingly being known and impacting. Uh, and Andre has done a lot to challenge existing paradigms. And for me, what, what really stands out, it's some work that he did in the past year or two, challenging some of our current understanding of the aging process. If aging is the foundation of cancer, let's try to treat aging and cancer will be defeated automatically. Maybe Andre is going to make all of, all of us young, yeah, young forever. We are uh, allowing him to be as innovative as he wants, and we're actually uh, celebrating it. It's like when you are thinking about your growing children, even though they were just born, what kind of college they finally will go to. My children, after my sons are grown up, are my drugs or my discoveries. And I'm thinking about the best place where they can blossom, where they can turn into something useful. And Roswell seemed to be a nice nest for them to hatch. Not only did Gudkov bring his research and biotechnical advancements to Roswell, he also transplanted an astonishing 55 Cleveland Biolabs employees and their families to Buffalo and Roswell Park. I, I think it's incredible. So that experience by itself speaks volumes about what kind of man this guy is. You're inspired just to be in his presence as another scientist at Roswell Park. So he inspires all of us to be better scientists. He inspires us all to think a little bit more out of the box, not be sort of stuck in our paradigms of science, but to think more globally. So he, he's a great inspiration to the other scientists here. And he raises the level of science at Roswell Park. Along with his research pursuits, Gutkov takes the time to mentor those around him. I consider him my teacher, and uh, I learned a lot from him, and I continue learning from him. And there is nobody else to whom I always want to discuss every finding I do. Even if you share an idea with him, he immediately sees it in 1,000 different ways. 
When you plan something, you rarely think that you are mortal. However, intuitively you pick tasks which you realistically can do within your lifetime. So if I do something, I definitely mean that I will see fruits of that within my life. For his passion, leadership, and visionary approach to science, we are pleased to recognize Dr. Andre Gutkov with this year's Thomas B. Tomasi, MD, PhD, Hope Award.